What's up, everyone? Get ready to discover the charm and wit of the one and only Herlene Boodle. Have you ever wondered about the story behind her rise to fame? If you've been following Herlene Boodle's journey, you know it's been filled with highs and lows. Today, we're unpacking the latest issues that have everyone talking. Herlene Boodle has been making headlines lately, and we're here to break down the key issues. If you've been wondering about the challenges Herlene Boodle has been facing recently, you're in the right place. Stick with us as we delve into the issues and shed light on the latest developments. Are you curious about what's been happening? Stick around as we unpack the details and get into the nitty gritty. We're here to explore the controversies that have everyone buzzing. What's the story and how is it impacting the online community? In this video, we're going to address some of the recent issues surrounding Herlin, unpacking the details and providing context to help you form your own opinions. So buckle up, hit that like button, and let's explore the issues surrounding Herlene Boodle with an open mind. And of course, share your thoughts in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Now let's get started. Herlene Boodle, born on August 23, 1999, is a Filipino television personality who rose to fame through the popular noontime show Woen. Hailing from Bakwa, Bulacan, Herlene started capturing the hearts of the audience with her natural charm and comedic timing. Herlene's breakthrough came when she joined the cast of Wowin, hosted by the charismatic Willie Revillame. Her unique style and relatable personality quickly made her a fan favorite, earning her the title Hip On Girl due to her witty and self-deprecating humor. Whether she's showcasing her dance moves, belting out a song, or participating in hilarious games, Herlene's versatility as an entertainer shines through. From there, she has made her way to the show business and had roles to play as an actress. Budal appeared in Magpakalamman, a Philippine television drama anthology series broadcast by GMA Network, on November 30, 2019, and played the role of Jenny and Af Wai in the episode Yaya Dubai I. It was her first television drama project, which trended and gained high ratings. She also appeared in the TV series Madrasta, playing the role of Sandy Escudero. She participated in Binibining Pilipinas 2022, securing seven special awards and finishing as first runner-up. Although chosen as the Philippines' representative for Miss Planet International 2022, she later withdrew. Subsequently, she entered Miss Grand Philippines 2023, winning the title of Miss Philippines Tourism 2023. During the ceremony, Budol was also crowned by Justine Felizarta, who finished as first runner-up in the Miss Tourism World 2022 competition. It can also be recalled that it was Alf Pageant Circle who appointed Felizarta as the Philippines' representative for the Miss Tourism World 2022 pageant. In a statement posted on their social media accounts, Alv Pageant Circle, the organizer of Miss Grand Philippines pageant, clarified that the title given to the comedian host was a generic title, with no contractual obligation to any international pageant, hence it was not a confirmation of Boodle's participation in the Miss Tourism World pageant. With this pageantry, she made herself even more popular with the Filipinos. Herlane Boodle has been a familiar face in the entertainment scene, captivating audiences with her infectious energy and undeniable charm. However, like any public figure, Herlene has faced her fair share of challenges recently. She has found herself in the midst of some heated discussions online. From misunderstandings to outright confrontations, the internet hasn't always been kind to this rising star. We'll break down some of the most talked about controversies and try to unravel the truth behind the headlines. This year, she played her first lead role in the G-May Afternoon Prime series, Megan Dang Dilag, as Georgina Gigi Robles and Gretchen Greta Vivineration, where she co-starred with Rob Gomez as Jared Illusorio and Bianca Manolo as Riley Tevez Illusorio. On December 20, Rob Gomez's social media accounts, screenshots of private conversations has been making the rounds online. Herlene, Rob, and Bianca Manolo's conversations insinuated that the two actresses are having an affair with Rob. Actor Rob Gomez issued a statement regarding the viral posts of his alleged conversations with former beauty queens Herlene Boodle and Bianca Manalo. The now-deleted post on Gomez's social media accounts contained screenshots of the actor's supposedly flirtatious exchanges with Herlene and Bianca. The posts featured his alleged conversations with Herlene, 
while the supposed exchange with Manalo contained the latter pertaining to a certain he in Valenzuela, it did not reveal who the he is but netizens are quick to point out that it was Bianca's boyfriend seen. Sherwin Gachalian, the Valenzuela city's former mayor, Bianca has posted on her Instagram feed, addressing rumors linking her and Rob. She clarified that the actor is just her friend and they were just talking about how she wanted to receive the actor's Christmas gifts before her flight. She also expressed that she's upset about the leaked private texts and that some parts of their conversations were supposedly edited or tweaked to cause malice. Beyonce also felt hurt about the unfounded accusation and wanted to make peace for the holidays. The actress also ended her statement, let us spread love and the truth this holiday season. Merry Christmas, everyone. The conversations also mentioned Miss Multinational Philippines 2021 Shia Lari Bortera, whom Rob has a child with and is the person he alleged leaked the screenshots. She revealed last August that she and Rob were parents to a daughter named Amelia and accused the actor of abusing her physically and verbally. Rob had previously claimed that he was single in an interview. This led to their separation and a now-deleted apology letter from Rob. Herlene also reacted and posted on X, Bakadako Nakaladkad. The beauty queen turned actress also briefly addressed pregnancy rumors after these surfaced in the leaked conversations. She reiterated that she is not the type of woman being implied in the alleged leaked private chats that went viral. Herlene said she has no idea how the issue started since she has been busy with work. She would later discover that she has been implicated in the issue that began when the now-deleted posts containing Rob's alleged private messages to women, including her, went viral. Herlene said that people might see her as squammy, a derogatory slang often used to describe a financially challenged person, but she was raised well by her grandparents despite coming from a broken family. Herlene lamented how she was made the subject of bashing and explicit jokes due to the allegations. The beauty queen revealed that she had received indecent proposals that came with huge sums when she joined two national pageants, but she never entertained them. In her post, she ended by saying that she is considering filing data privacy, defamation and cyber libel cases against the person who leaked the screenshots. Rob claimed in his statement released Thursday that his estranged girlfriend Shira was the one who illegally got hold of his phone and uploaded the screenshots on his social media without his consent. But it can be seen that he recently posted on his Instagram feed a photo of him and her estranged girlfriend with their daughter with a caption, I love you 3000. Thank you, God, for this day referring to the baptism of his daughter. All right, folks, that wraps up our discussion on the controversies surrounding Herlene Boodle. What are your thoughts on the challenges and issues that Herlene Boodle has faced recently? What lessons do you think other public figures can learn from Herlene Boodle's experiences? How can they navigate the challenges of fame and public scrutiny? Do you think social media has played a positive or negative role in shaping the narrative around Herlene Boodle's recent issues? Before we wrap up today's discussion, it's important to remember that everyone faces challenges, and it's crucial to approach these situations with empathy and understanding. It's essential to remember that public figures, like anyone else, are complex individuals navigating their way through various challenges. If you enjoyed our conversation today or found it informative, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content. As always, we encourage open dialogue and constructive conversations in the comment section. Let's engage respectfully and share our thoughts on this topic. Thank you for joining us today here at Top 10 Society, and we look forward to engaging with you in future videos. Take care, and until next time, stay positive and stay informed.